Okay. All right. Take care of yourself. Bye. Good night. I call this showcase on you. Wow. We'll be launching it on Friday and in London. Did you say wow? There's something wrong with this dress and I need one of you or all of you to figure it out. No. Yeah, I mean, um, I feel the stitches aren't done properly and the finishing work is a bit tacky. Really? Yeah, yes, ma. Um, um, the weaving machine broke down before we could complete it. And you couldn't fix the weaving machine before presenting the dress to me? Uh, Mommy, shut the hell up. Next person. Next person. Please. Hey, Mom. Yes. I think we should add more of the apple. The apple. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Reasons? It's so simple, and this weekend. I'm done with work. So shut the hell up. Next person. Ma, I, I think the color is too sharp. The gray color is sharp? Rita, can you fix this? Just imagine the bunch of incompetent fools that you recruit to my company. What is your plan? You're sorry, ma. I have no idea. You disappoint yourself, Rita. I'm really disappointed in you. No one can figure out what is wrong with this dress. Um, ma. If you have something reasonable to say, split up. Please permit me to stand. Thank you, Ma. Um, Ma, considering the fact that it's not a total neck dress, so I think um, the neck region needs to be a little bit open for the leverage line to be visible. Is this? I mean, look perfect on anyone who can do I am so disappointed at all of you. Really, really disappointed. All of you in this room, except Damien, went to a fashion school. Supposed to be the smarter one in the room. Can't you see? Peter, can't you see the bunch of incompetent, lazy idiots that you recruit to my company? You want to run me down? Is that what this is all about? I'm so sorry, Rob. No Shut the hell up, let me finish talking. Your incompetence can actually win you a Nobel Prize for intellectual incapacity. I'm sorry. Now get the hell out. Get out all of you! Peter! Ma? This is my cost to your job. I'm sorry, ma. I'll fix this. Fix your ass. Get out. Sorry. And you took Damien. I said, get out. Get out! Sorry, ma.
Is that not Damien? That's Damien, that's him. What's he doing out there? Is he actually risky standing there all alone? Oh, Tatiana, what do you care? What's your business? What's wrong with you? What if something happens to him? Oh, damn it, Tatiana, he's your staff. Maybe you can just do it for the fact that he's your staff. Just take him home, there's nothing there. Okay. What's your address? 21 Mechanic Street. What's an address? Thank you, ma'am. Okay, I guess that's the place. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Um, what exactly are you doing in Nigeria? <clears throat> For greener pastures, ma'am. Greener pastures? Yes, ma'am. Greener pastures. There are no greener pastures in Ghana? Actually, ma'am, Ghana would not feel very good to me. I have to come to Nigeria for greener pastures. With that incredible and amazing result that you have, Ghana wasn't for the to Yes, ma'am, but actually, if you ask me, I'll tell you that at the moment, I'm so happy to be in Nigeria. I mean, getting to work with the best fashion firm in Africa, and having you as my boss is so amazing. Oh, whatever. Amazing. Whatever, whatever. You can get that. Good night. See you tomorrow. What the hell are you doing now? Get out of here! Just get lost! Aunt, what are you doing here? Is it wrong for me to visit my daughter? At least you should have informed me before coming. You don't badge into people like okay, that. Okay, I'm sorry. I just wanted to take you by surprise. Sorry. Huh? Hey. Um, Tatiana. Are you still visiting your psychologist? No, I quit that a long time ago. Why? It's wrong. It's wrong. It's, I am not mad. I'm not crazy. I don't need any psychologist. I'm not here to upset you, right? 
It's okay. Better. So how are you? I'm fine. And um, your boyfriend? Ah, nothing. Yeah. Tatiana, you promised to get yourself a boyfriend. Oh, Preta, I fit another date for you. If you see this guy, you like him. He's handsome, he's good. And he's a son of a um, minister of Barra. He just returned from the States. You like him. Ah, so. <sighs> oh, please. There's no need for all that. The last time you did, it didn't end well. Because you've lost him. If you see this guy, he's a mwah, mwah. Oh. And there's no need. I, I have a boyfriend. Wow. There's no need. Wow. And you didn't tell me. Who is he? And what is his name? <laughs> um, his name? Yes. Oh. Oh, speaking Sorry, of. Sorry, I'm one hour late. <laughs> um. Uh, aunt, meet my boyfriend. <laughs> oh, he's handsome. Welcome, son. Thank you, ma. You're welcome. <laughs> That's good. How are you, sir? I'm fine, ma. Uh, my aunt, the one I've been telling you about. Oh, yeah. Aunt, aunt Linda. Oh, Aunt Linda. Yes. Tatiana has been telling me wonderful things about you. Really? Oh, my gosh. Oh, please forgive my manners. I'm Damian Kwame. Nice to meet you. That's good. You're welcome. Uh, I think my phone is like... Oh, sit down. Come on, baby. Hello. Okay, tell him I'm coming, all right? He should wait for me. Uh, um, not but I think I have to leave you people now. Oh, wonderful, you're leaving? Yes. Oh, wonderful. I'm inviting both of you for a dinner tomorrow. Dinner? Uh, Aunt? Dinner? Yes, you understand what I'm saying. Um, I need to know my in love very well. I think this is very well. <laughs> Oh, okay, bye bye. Okay. Bye. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. My aunt is a very dramatic person. You've seen it all already. So, so while we're going for dinner, my aunt needs her seven <laughs> It's okay. It was really nice acting as your boyfriend. Don't let that sink into your head. I'm glad you said actor. So, tomorrow we're going for dinner at my aunt's house, 7 p.m. Well, I'm afraid, madam, that's not part of my job description. Are you stupid? I give the orders around here, not you. So if I say it's dinner, it's dinner. 7 p.m. it is. Okay. <laughs> so delicious. Thank you. Oh, this is really good. Thank you. Thank you for inviting us. Okay. Now the party is over. We have to be on our way now. No, no, no. You sleep now. I can't allow you people to go now. Sleep. Oh, aunt, don't worry about that. I drove. Um, baby, I think your auntie is right. I mean, it's late. Mm -hmm. Besides, it's raining out there. Yes. We can just sleep in, but then we we'll go home tomorrow morning. <coughs> sorry, 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 baby. Sorry. sorry. Mm. Baby, are you okay? Sorry. Mm. Sorry, sorry. But, aunt, please, pay no attention to him. No. 
I cannot move. And I said we cannot go this late. Aunt, I'm leaving now. I have to go, Aunt. No. Let me not go. It's late. Can't you see it's running outside? Maybe I'm not going with you. Better. I mean, it's late. Besides, tomorrow is Saturday. We both are not going to work. Why can't we just sleep over? Come on, baby. Okay. Separate rooms, please. What's wrong? You sleep in the same dog with your fiancé? Um, huh? auntie, auntie. Fiancé, not husband. Auntie, I don't mind. She's kidding. She's kidding. Uh -huh. Okay. You know what? Same room, same bed. Thank you. I like that. <laughs> And <laughs> um, so when is the wedding that are going to be? Oh, wedding? Very soon, Auntie, very soon. And guess what? It's going to be a big wedding. Together with your filthy rags. 
A little thank you won't hurt. And what the hell are you doing sitting on that table? I mean, that's the level of question I don't understand. What does it look like I'm doing? I'm obviously lying down. Dumb, being dumb. What part of a cat sleep on the same bed did you don't you understand? But where do you want me to sleep? Who cares? Who cares if we sleep under the same case, toilet, or kitchen? Who gives that food? Please, get your stupid ass off that bed because I need to get some sleep. Well, I'm afraid, madam. I can't possibly sleep on the floor because I'm a fat. And I can't probably go to staircase because I have got to go to the bed. Your own safety and your own hope. Stick to your own part of the bed. Where are you going to find me? Well, we still gonna share the same movie, right? Is that how you want to sleep? Do you want to choke yourself? Mind your goddamn business! Mind your business and let me get some sleep! You can do some policy of your humanity. You don't want to disturb us.
Mr. Damien, the lover boy. How is Nigeria treating you? <laughs> Silly boy, what's up, bro? Eric just left here now, though. Eric says we should come to Nigeria and rescue you. Tatiana about to tell you I'm hot, though. <laughs> what's going on, brother? <laughs> She's really tough, though. But I guess I'm gradually breaking the walls. Guess what? Ah, uh, yo, you know, I'm not good at guessing, though. You better spit it out, man. What's going on? I kissed her for the first time. What? Yeah. But that anyway is not there after. Just take that slap as the way that she really enjoyed the kiss. Hold on a minute. You kissed the almighty Tatiana, the CEO of Tatiana International Fashion World. Oh man, you got it good, man. You got it good, man. One more, just give me more. Give me more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's really rude, though. Yeah, I know. That's what I told Eric that no matter how condescend rude the girl might be, all she needs is a soulmate. And once she got a soulmate, she will loosen up. So you're doing a good job, man. I know, right? Thanks, bro. Don't mind Eric. Ah, Eric, what does that one know about love? Apart from pursuing things that are on the hopes. <laughs> you know he would kill you if you hit that, right? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Come on, man. That's a good one, though. That's a good news, man. I mean... You know what, buddy? I just have to go take my shower and go to bed. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. So please give me posted, man. That means you're having fun, man. You better bring her out there. Bring her out so that your boys can see her. I mean, you treat her the way you do with Ghana, man. That's a good news, brother. I wish you good luck. Thanks, bro. Talk to you later. Okay, bye. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <sighs> I can't wait to get on that kid. We've had enough patience. Please, I... Just give me one extra month to clear this debt. Madam, we're sorry. We've been patient enough. We're running business, not charity organization. Yes, I know that. And that is why I am pleading very much unlike Tatiana. I am pleading just one more to raise this fund. And I have cleared the debt. I'm sorry, ma'am. There's really nothing we can do at this point. Nothing. Look, by tomorrow, this company will be locked. Pay off. Come on, that's too sudden. Tomorrow is too sudden. Can you say tomorrow, please, please? Um. There's nothing we can do. I'm sorry. Really sorry. Thank you. One month. Just one month. One month is not that long. Come on. Damn it. Cancel all my appointments. I don't want to see anything. And then please tell all the staff there is no work tomorrow. Nobody should come here tomorrow. Madam. Madam, 